Oh, so the other thing wasn't the tutorial. This is the tutorial. That was just the introduction. That was such a long <laughs> Why? The tutorial gotta be. Just imagine those blocks as small multicolored hunks of steak. It does not. Can I not imagine things made of poo? There's Your goal is to steak. align them with the guidelines on the left. You can push the tiles upward by inserting tokens. Now shove those okay, beautiful so babies. They... Then heads just have to be on those levels. In other words, oh, can I? Oh, okay, oh, I wow. can actually play. Um, how do you? You just tap it. Yeah. Right. Great job. Okay, that's, that's easy. What we Shut up. Oh my god. Okay, I know. You get thirty coins. Oh, I see. That's actually pretty quick. In so was just a fucking tutorial. So. My intellectual superiority. Oh, I installed a scoring system into this machine. Et voila. Yeah, we we pick, we if picked up on that. If you want to prove you're brainier than Dr. Tannis, make sure you fill that score bar up as Still much as you possibly <laughs> can before submitting your score. Oh, okay. So you have to press X to. Um, who needs to stay? Oh, no one. Entirely unimpressive. Not entirely unimpressive. This is like the fucking easiest mini game ever. So, up to yeah. now, you've I mean, been able to fart around with as many minute. tokens as you want. But now, <laughs> yes. the uh, real we've got a bit of a begins. tricky because two have to go down. These tokens, these are your reserve tokens. Ah, uh, okay, so we, it's like really two have to go down. Here's a couple. Them. I'll well, simply boost the bottom ones first. Um, that one we're gonna have to boost a lot if we want. Um, how are we gonna do this one? I know we got left two, so we can get. Because we need two to boost these guys in range. We can just use two of you. But I would only get one. We'd have to use them both on the same. Oh, but we can take them back. Great! You hit the bare minimum score required to submit your solution. You can keep working to fill more of the bar and increase your score, though. Not that I'd recommend it. Like I always say, the bare minimum is the best you can hope for, and you will never know joy. Finally, we could just skip him. As you can see, it's literally impossible. Nah, take it, take it back. You know. Because if we do it from here, then we get that guy straight in. So. Yeah, 
If you look on the mini map, it shows you a little DLC icons and a little square exclamation mark thing, so it's probably one of those fucking. Is that, is that actually the objective? Yes. Oh my god, I didn't get it. Did we change it? Control console. What wonders await us here? <laughs> the meridians never did anything small, did they? Oh, I guess you do need a planet sized machine to seal up an entire planet. Buy yourself a Yeah, they generally do. Very proud to find a good one. Great all levels. 
Hey, you're blowing! Oh, you're too kind. No, seriously! Perhaps Sirens had some hand in constructing this machine. You know what? You remind me of later. Catch me, Paul Hunter. I swoon! If only I had a decade to study this machine. This design is mind-dazzlingly complex. But I do believe its primary operation to be fairly straightforward. To start, I require the Pandora Vault Key. Still following, I'm not right next to him. It's fucking 
slow as shit. At least it's not this. <laughs> I run, but it's still, he's, he's slower than Captain on the pants. Like, I mean, his run is still only slightly faster than I would. But at least huh. he's not like... This cliff says to reveal oh, the steps. Guess it means you Talking of, um, moving, I found out in X-Men Legends 2, the fastest character on foot is Xavier, who runs the... Twice as quick as every other. When you're running in a room, he'll just be running laps while you're still struggling to move. And like within seconds, he will cover, get to the end of the hallway, and you're like, apparently not even halfway through. It. It's fucking ridiculous. Talking of which, there's a lot of good comic book games come out. Suicide Squad's the one that I'm most keen for. Since I've already beat Avengers and that's already out, which I'm just not kidding for the updates I'll do. What the hell is this? Because, like, cool trick, huh, Dad? Because, um, what is it? Fucking. Like they also did a new Batman game, which is not about Batman, but the fan is also a new Batman game, which is quite suicide squad. That Batman is a new Batman game. Like, you can play as part of the character as a woman. Play roles oh like Batman, who has a cool, different ability. Um, apart from the rest of it just being all the mechanics that Batman had in the Arkham game, because it's made by the same people, right? Same as the Suicide. Um, they're, two, they're split into two different games. It's the first three games, and then the team that made Arkham Knight. People that made Arkham Knight. What is it? The, the new Batman game, which is um. That one, like I said, being the, the new Batman new character. Um, not that guild, so that's Barbara Gordon, and actually proper like Batman face mask and all that. Um, they're all pretty much out of there's, there's a brother who has the sick teleportation ability, um, which is weird because Robin's on the lane and stuff. Then there's Nightwing, of course. Um, don't know what his deal is, um, because they have a special ability. That one is uh, underneath the top of what Batman does. Like, you know, Batman is close to the top of the top of the top of the special stuff. Robin seems like a person So sorry, um, ways of all of you are weak. I There's also um Black Adam, the the fucking oh, next yeah. Shazam movie they showed off. It was a weird trailer they showed. It was all like bear. like illustrations and just narration over illustrations. So it was like this is fucking weird. <laughs> Which is probably most likely the yeah. because they did it in like an event for DC shit. They would call it the DC fandom, which I do every year. And yeah, his was like the worst. Come on, give that are either the new like Batman the trailer, which everyone's loving, but it's like you can't fucking see it. And you can barely even see Batman. In it. It's literally Batman. Like everyone's saying, it's dark as in like you know the thematically Batman, but it's like. No, it's literally so dark that you can't even see Batman in half the fucking shots. So like, sure, two of the shots you can see Batman in like a nightclub where there's lights everywhere. But even then it's still like fucking nearly half the screen you can't even fucking see. It's like someone get out of fucking spotlight, holy shit. It's so bad. Is this just because you you couldn't get good enough fucking props or something that you just want to hide the details? So no one has so bad. Keep going. Last one, Vault Hunter. This way. 
Station. But yeah, the um, Suicide Squad game looks fucking sick to me because it's like the whole concept is you. you this way. I, what on. I don't like is the four characters here. Like the trailer Remedy. was definitely like. I mean, it wasn't a gameplay trailer like Batman one was, which was really nice. You never ever to see all four characters in the bus and back, uh, back girl and You're Batman. not gonna stop me um, from getting to the destroyer. It was cool because you got to see that. Um, you don't Mr. know what Freeze you're doing, Starlight. The destroyer's got that for a um, reason. It's literally he stops. Well, like he showed straight up, he's already free. <laughs> and, what is it? It's um, in Suicide Squad though. What they showed us was a cut scene. It was pretty interesting the concept. What I don't get is they set the world to the arms. Really, really they made it on black rocket. Um, that shot, even though it's been wide before, which is like unnoticeable now that I've been thinking of that as an entire separate game, which I think is fucking sick as a separate game. As a because the concept is, it's not just cool, it's like the two things some days before what Rocksteady was going to do next, you know, it's time to fight! Series, is they would either do Suicide Squad or Superman, because they had both licensed and they had both, um, like, made a website for each, as well as, um, you know, like, a domain that bought out and all that shit. It was like, it was clear that they were going to do one of them. They've done both of them. So they've done both in a way that I really like. Um, so it, you know the um, Injustice game, right? They take a very similar concept. It's called Suicide Squad Who's Injustice game. So, yeah. The initial shot was just like, it was actually quite, um, I wouldn't say so much humorous, but it was charming. Um, so like, so, um, it's like they're just all chilling out, ain't off these You see this giant shit with a skull, very purple. I wonder who that is. Um, every, yeah, everyone's got fucking purple eyes. Everyone's murdering each other. Going pretty murders, big kills. And you're just chilling there like, yeah, you know, I never miss a shot, you know, dude, shit. What I really love is the look of They're not being one for sure, like, yeah, it's a demigod. Thank you. So often they forget about the best is like So it was one of the four playables. Yeah. There's also Holly Quinn on this suicide squad for whatever reason things are console is sort of about that or that man. So yeah, they've got Harley Quinn there as one of the playables, the most lame. There's also Captain Boomerang, which, even though I fucking hate right. Captain Boomerang, I reckon he might actually be the funnest to play as, because they've, they've actually designed him very, like, they've straight up changed his powers from original, which is literally just to be able to control the boomerangs he throws. <laughs> Like it's, it's literally like my power is to boomerang. But no, what they did is when he throws boomerangs, he can. Not bad. So the interesting thing is, not only does he do boom, like he's becoming the most charming character as well. If you watch the trailer, he's just like sick of everything. He's like, I'm fucking. You say this all the fucking time. You fucking. You know, he's like getting yeah, things. Like I don't want to work. Hold, like no one gives a shit yes, into the brain. <laughs> but yeah, he's like a fucking cow on my hangover. <laughs> but yeah, um, his ability is he throws his thing and it seems to move around so I reckon you can control him, right? Um, and then he teleports with the, like he, he almost turns into it. So it's like, he's, I, I wonder if it's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
but I, I reckon it would be controlled by, like I'm hoping it would be controlled by like, oh. You remember the rocket in the action play? Do you remember the rocket in the action play? Yeah, I reckon it would be like that, yeah, but like that. Yeah. That's my plan. It wasn't too bad, the, the problem was that it was incredibly slow, so you could actually control it. Just, uh... So um dead shot obviously. The only unique special thing about the it seems to be the fact that he has a jetpack which is used to like ignite the mission. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> yeah, he's he's pretty much just Boba Fett, yeah. To be completely honest with you, it's just Boba Fett in that game. I mean he doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Holy Queen seems like she'll probably be one of the more like, It's definitely more aimed that game to be a third person shooter. Kind of like open world, like Sansa, Hazel, and Kyle. But like, actually, it's characters that you'd actually give a fuck about. Now that would actually be really interesting, just being able to summon them almost, like an ultimate or something, like a super, just call them out, and charge them out and things. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be fun. King Sharp just has a fucking mini gun. Um, I'm curious to see what King Sharp does, because it looks like he's, he's just using um, yeah, I'm really wondering about this Because, like, with the Batman game, oh, yeah, yeah, they did say we would be, um, so I'm going to be worried then, because I guess they were definitely, like, talking about the game and describing how it's in it. The devs did say you should be able, like, if you play a mode, um, that you're able to swap it for, you know, like, you're not restricted at any time and plays any hero. So you should be able to free the swap by like playing GTA and just pressing the swap, I reckon. Because that's they showed that up straight after the game play for the drill bar the other night. Yeah, probably, yeah, that would probably play up online. I don't know if it would be safe for this game, but like I like Suicide Squad. Like I don't have anything against it that way, you know, because I can just get a bit. Like, alright, I've played fucking four or five of these now, you know, like, some, like, I do like how they do something different, like, right, 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 which is really nice, it's not just like Batman, it stays still, it's pretty cool, you know, they're bringing in teleportation, fucking, the, um, the bat's ability, and stuff like that, it's like, alright, Alright, there's something a bit different, but it's still just like way too bad many. The other one's like a lot more unique, like Suicide Squad is way more unique. The problem though, um, no, I wouldn't say it's a problem because it's still relatively close. Like, one launches 2021, the other launches 2022. Batman being close to release, obviously, because it's the one that did gameplay. Well, definitely. And there's definitely enough time to recover. Yeah. I am, um, All of the connections to the vault are activated. Return to Still the air hyphen. Vault hunter, you may have speed. Lilith, you might want to come down and see um, this. Um, on our way. Have that loot shooter thing to work like this does. I mean, it's not loot shooter unless you play as like fucking Black Widow, which I hate playing Tennis, as her. Yeah. Literally, like I, I struggled yeah. so hard, like because. Only some of the enemies are like human robotics. Terminate that.